This is Polar Motion Example 3. And what we have here is basically your typical um, satellite and rocket uh, example. And uh, basically all I'm going to be doing is working out for us how to calculate things and, and, and not waste time doing it. So let's start off right now. Um, what we have here is a rocket going horizontal just to the right and d theta is decreasing at 0 0.01 radians a second at the 45 degree point. So basically all we have to do is determine um, how the length of r is changing, how it's accelerating, what's what's happening there and uh, go from there. And we're just trying to find that one thing because uh, you could ask for a bunch of things and it would take you all day to do all the examples. So. First of all, 45 degrees is always really fun when you start getting into these kind of uh, problems because you can do little tricks, um, casing point with V being constant. You have V going this way. If it's at a 45 degree angle, then you would know that this would be at 45, this would be at 45, and this would be at 90. Thus, someone could say that both of these sides right here are equal, which is nice, because that way you can actually use that little trick. You know that, first of all, V in, the, in, in this form is going to be R dot. E R plus R theta dot E theta. No, this is a cylindrical equation. However, this is a 2D problem. I don't need to worry about phi. Just get used to the idea of having a fixed point, and then you can work your way from there. Okay, so we know that, first of all, that this would be, in, in, in our situation, that this would be this would be theta direction and this would be r direction. We would know that those two are equal, thus r dot must equal r theta dot. Which is kind of nice because then you can work it out. We know that r is going to equal 15 uh, times, yeah, 15,000 times 0 0.01. So we know that that is 15,000 times 0 0.01 which comes out to equaling 150 meters a second. Great. Well, if you want to know the speed then, because we know that r dot is equal to 150 then we know that r times theta dot is equal to 150. So actually, the, the speed, the, the v, the speed, is going to equal essentially 150 squared plus 150 squared, all square root, which will equal 212 meters a second. Awesome. I want little to no work to get to that point. Then, we can pull out the acceleration equation. R double dot minus R theta dot squared, e to the R, plus R theta double dot, plus 2R dot theta dot. So then, basically, all we do there is we say, Let's use the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, we, we know all the results already, so, I mean, let's just see what we can get from the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, we know what resistance is. Just ignore air resistance in this. Let's assume that it's very aerodynamic, you know? So no, no resistance. So let's just use Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Okay. Well, 
we know that uh, the acceleration on this rocket is basically only going to be gravity. So 9.81 squared. And we know that that will equal a r squared plus a what I'm going to call theta squared. Um, it, tangents or it could be phi. It all depends about how you look at things. Okay. But what I want you to realize is that we have another interesting little happening here because of the angles. Let's just simplify this rocket into a point, okay? You have your R direction coming right back at the, um, right towards the point, which is at 45 degrees. 90 degrees from that would be here. And this is your theta direction. So you have your E theta, and you have your E R. Well, combined, if you were to combine them, this would equal your down direction, which is the actual acceleration, which the acceleration is equal to 9.81. And that's meters per square inch, or meters per second squared. So, what we could actually say is that this is a is equal to, so we could just say a is equal to 2 times, and then a whatever, like I'm just going to call it t, because it's the side of this, so I don't know, triangle, squared. So basically there's two of them. And that's that sprouts from here. That a uh, squared equal this, which is going to be two or a t squared plus a t squared. Which just imagine this one side of the triangle, and this one the other side of the triangle. So it's all it, it's fairly reasonable. And what we're trying to find here is actually, um, remember, we're looking for r double dot. So actually, we want to know what one of these ATs are. Well, we know what the A is. That is 9.81. And actually, this should be squared. So when we work that out, when we actually put 9.81 squared, equals 2 AT squared, you can actually get a result, AT will equal 6.937. That's meters a second squared. Great. So now you can actually just work it out that way. You could get, if you went into the normal acceleration, normal acceleration, you'll see that 6.937 will equal R double dot minus r theta dot. And you just work it out from there. And now equal r double dot minus, you know, you have your 15,000 times 0 0.01 squared r double dot. Sorry about it getting small. This is 5 point four three seven meters a second squared. So very cool. Not hard. You just have to be you have to feel comfortable with breaking it down into whatever we want and feel free to look for just little interesting things that you can do with angles such as forty five degrees because forty five you can start setting different portions of the same equation equal to each other to actually cancel out some variables and make the math a whole lot simpler. And you can turn a problem that is 45 minutes worth of just annoying algebra into a, a few simple steps. So um, please review this, ask questions. Um, really, uh, this it's really a pain to deal with a lot of problems in the polar uh, system. So what a lot of people like to do is work in the Cartesian or the cylindrical and then use a, a, a dot product method to convert it into the polar um, if need be. Uh, and, and 
only a few, there's exceptions of a few situations where it's almost imperative that you're in polar. And I can think of a few having to do with uh, angular momentum and such. So anyway, we'll hit on those topics later on and uh, feel free to ask questions. Thank you.